What is up, guys, and welcome back to 8-Ball Sports here, our first ever edition. Edition. John J. Swift for the cycle, guys. I just got that alert. Um, first ever edition of College Football Predictions. I had one recorded for week four. Wrote it all down right here. Um, didn't actually write on how I'm winning. I just mentioned the video. I had the video clip. I had, like, UCLA beating Stanford, which was close to happening. That was pretty much my only upset. Uh, everything else kind of predicted was about right. Um, yeah, there weren't too many other upsets. So this is how I do. I do the Power Five conferences. I think that's you know the easiest. Sorry if you're a fan of someone in like the AAC conference or something like that. But um, that's just gonna take too long. I can't really give a thorough explanation if I do every single conference. So hopefully this can stay underneath ten minutes because the longer videos take longer to upload. Um, and I need to get this out tomorrow morning quickly. So, Miami, Georgia Tech, and the ACC. We start off with the ACC. Miami versus Georgia Tech. I do have Miami winning this game. I think Georgia Tech will play a pretty good game, uh, but I think Miami is kind of just the obvious choice. Um, also, I do this thing where I circle, I think, the game of the conference. So, the best game that's going to happen in that conference. Now, I could just circle all the like top 25, but I'm going to circle the game that I think is actually going to be the closest. So, I mean, as long as it's not going to be like I don't know, say Vanderbilt and South Carolina. Because that game, I think they already played, but that game could come down to like 10-7 as a close game. If I'm going to pick like one that has relative importance, I guess, uh, and it, no offense to South Carolina or Vanderbilt fans. North Carolina or Florida State. Florida State, North Carolina's not the same team as last year where they almost beat Clemson. They're still decent, but Florida State's still the better football team. Virginia, Duke. I do have Duke winning this uh, after their win over Notre Dame last week. Kind of surprising everyone. I think they're going to be able to carry that on beat Virginia. Wake Forest versus NC State. I have Wake Forest winning this game because they are 4-0. And I don't think like anyone knows in the country that Wake Forest is 4-0. I didn't until I was looking, you know, I had to like scroll through what games were coming on today. Or not today, but um Saturday. Because that's what the day college football comes on. This is the game of the ACC. Pretty self-explanatory. Louisville Clemson. I have Clemson winning this game simply because this is going to be the toughest task for Louisville's Lamar Jackson on defense. Like when he's coming, he's the hardest defense. Florida State's defense is decent. They had a lot of young young players on their defense. Um, Clemson held Georgia Tech to eight yards until they had like a 23-yard uh, sweep run or like screen pass or something. Like as the second quarter was almost over, that they had more points than the t other team had yards. That's how good this Clemson defense is. Deshaun Watson starting to look like more of a Heisman candidate than the first two weeks that we saw. Um, the past two weeks, we've seen a different quarterback back there, really. And I think they're going to be able to win. I think Clemson's been in this big game situation before. You could argue Louisville was against Florida State. But, I mean, this is a big, big game. This is like... If Clemson loses this, they're out of the playoff picture, in my mind, unless a big shakeup happens. And if Louisville loses this, they're still in it. So I think Clemson's going to have something to play for because Louisville's already beaten Florida State. Now, if Clemson goes on to beat Florida State, then they're going to be back in it, which I, I probably will see, end up seeing happening. I don't think Florida State's better than Clemson. But if Clemson loses and then loses to Florida State, they're over. Uh, if, I don't know, the ACC has those top three teams and they're really no one else. So Marshall, Pittsburgh, I got Pittsburgh. Marshall did not look that good against Louisville. And Pittsburgh's a decent team um, with that nice running back. He's not even that good, but survived cancer, so you got to root for him. Buffalo, Boston College, um, Boston College. Notre Dame, Syracuse. I think this is going to be a close game. I almost circled this one for the close game because I think this one's going to be underrated, but Notre Dame's 1-3. When was the last time that happened? Wait, they're 1-3, right? They're 1-2? Are they 2-2? Two two? I may be incorrect in saying that they're 1-3, but I know they're not good. I know they've lost to Duke. They've lost to... Uh, Texas, have they lost to someone else? I don't know. I apologize if, if you're a Notre Dame fan and you guys haven't lost three games. Um, you're one and three. I don't know who else you lost to. I'm blanking on that, but uh, you are one and three, so I was right. Syracuse is two and two. They play Louisville tough. I mean, you go back and look at that game. They play Louisville better than Florida State played Louisville. Um, why did, I'm sorry about my camera, guys. It's it's messed up. I really got to fix it, but there we go. Um... I mean, I think it's going to be a close game. I think Syracuse has a chance of winning. I think Notre Dame, I'm just picking Notre Dame because of experience, but watch out. Notre Dame could be 1-4. Notre 
No joke. Um, and still have to play. They still have to play Clemson, Florida State. Actually, I don't even know. They're not in the ACC, are they? Syracuse in the ACC. They're not even. They're in the freaking Independence or whatever. Uh, Michigan. Oh my goodness, I skipped a bunch of conferences. Big Twelve. Oklahoma, TCU. I have Oklahoma. Ohio State fan here. Um, and Oklahoma didn't look good against us. I'll be the first to admit that. Um, but their TCU hasn't really played anybody. They lost to Arkansas, who I don't think is that good. So Oklahoma's going to win that game. Kansas State, West Virginia. I have West Virginia. I think West Virginia is, or Baylor's the last hope for the Big 12, which is sad. Big 12 is done. Um, sorry if you heard that yelling in the background. Kansas, Texas Tech, Kansas, or no, Kansas, I almost said Kansas Tech. Texas Tech, Kansas is always Kansas. No offense if you're a Kansas fan, but, yeah, and that's about it. Baylor, I'm trying to get through this faster, I'm sorry. Baylor, Iowa State, Baylor, they're 4-0. Again, if the Big 12 wants someone in the playoffs, it's got to be Baylor, or it's got to be West Virginia, because TCU's lost to Arkansas, Texas has lost to California, Oklahoma's lost two games. I mean... Oklahoma State lost to Central Michigan. Uh, Texas, Oklahoma State. This is my game. Circled for that one. I mean, you could circle Oklahoma TCU. It's probably the more game that's going to get the most recognition. But I think it's going to be a really good game. Oklahoma State um, probably shouldn't have lost to CMU. But they did. Texas lost to Cal. Um, they probably honestly shouldn't have lost to Cal. But they did. So I think it's going to be a good game. I have Texas coming out on that one, though. Um, as long as the quarterback stays healthy, if their starting quarterback's playing, I'm not positive on that. But Wisconsin, Michigan, a very, very this is the big matchup for the Big Ten starting you know right off the bat. Um, I have Wisconsin, and yes, you could just say it's because I'm an Ohio State fan, and I won't I won't not admit that there's there's part of me that that plays into it. But I also don't like Wisconsin. I mean, if you're a Tennessee fan, you don't like Florida. You don't like Alabama, you don't like LSU, you don't like Georgia, you don't like Vanderbilt, you don't like anyone in the SEC. I mean, as a Big Ten fan, I don't like anyone in the Big Ten. It's just, this is the first year since Melvin Gordon that Wisconsin has really been relevant. Um, no offense to Wisconsin fans. I'm going to keep saying no offense to a bunch of people because I'm probably offending a lot of people. Um, anyway, I have Wisconsin. Wisconsin defense, they're linebackers, man. They are, ooh, their linebackers are going to be some top, I think they're going to be some of the top linebackers in the NFL. Um... Michigan hasn't played anybody, in my opinion. Um, I'm giving you my reason here. You could again, you could say it's because I'm a state fan, but and uh, that is kind of it. But I'm giving you reasons for why I think they will still win. Uh, Michigan played Colorado, and Colorado played them good. I think Colorado is a good football team, but um, obviously I don't think they're better than Michigan. I just I don't think Penn State's as good as everyone gave them, so you know Michigan blew them out. But hey, if you're a Michigan fan, I think you have a good chance of winning this game. I would say 60% Michigan, 40% Wisconsin. Um, I'm going with the Wisconsin 40%. I think Wisconsin is going to get it done with their defense, but I don't know. Rutgers, Ohio State. Um, the Scarlet Knights versus the Scarlet and Gray. And um, we're projected to win by, we're, we're projected to win by like 37 points. I don't think we're going by that much. Um, but I think we will win by a decent amount. We didn't play great against Tulsa. Kind of worries me. But, um... We'll be fine, I think. I don't think we'll lose to like Rutgers. They played Iowa pretty well, though. Gotta watch out for them, so. Purdue, Maryland. I have Maryland. I basically just looked at schedule. I haven't seen either of these teams play um, because neither of them have been good in past years. Maryland had the better record. I was like, well, I guess Maryland's better. That's kind of how I felt. Uh, Northwestern, Iowa. I have Iowa. Kind of a similar thing to record. I know that Iowa lost to North Dakota State and barely beat Rutgers. So, it's going to be close, but Northwestern's not the team they were last year. Even though last year, I think they got overhyped after beating Stanford. So, hey, who knows. Minnesota, Penn State, Minnesota. I don't think Penn State's as good as uh, people are, I guess, saying they are. They lost to Pittsburgh, they lost to Michigan. And I think Minnesota, who is undefeated, if I'm correct, going to come in there and they're going to get the victory. Michigan State, Indiana. Michigan State is going to look for revenge after getting blown out by Wisconsin. And then Illinois and Nebraska. I have Nebraska winning that game just because Nebraska's actually looking decent as well this year. Because they like beat uh, Oregon or whatever. Pac-12, a few games here. Utah, California. Uh, I have California. Um, their defense can play football. 
then they could stop Utah's offense. And Cal's offense is very, very impressive. Um, Oregon, Washington State. Oregon, um, what do I want to say on that one? Oregon State, Colorado. Colorado. 3-1, and one, only loss coming to Michigan. It's a solid football team. They looked really good against Michigan. They looked good all year. I have watched them a little, so they're going to be fine. And uh, someone is knocking on my door, but I'll, I'll get in a sec. Stanford, Washington. I'm going to go through these a little quicker now. I have Washington. I think Washington's defense is going to be able to hold Christian McCaffrey. Or I guess contain. I don't think they're going to hold him. Um, and they can contain him to not get the big play. Kind of like UCLA did. They didn't let him get a big play. They let him get like six yards every run, which isn't good because they could have kept running it and they would have kept doing you know stuff. They could have kept doing that and got into the end zone. But I think Washington's offense is nice. I, I haven't really watched too, much, too many of their games, but I've seen highlights. And from what I've heard, they're a very good football team. So I'm gonna I'm trusting them here. I don't I don't dislike Stanford. I know I've picked against them the past two weeks. Really like Christian McCaffrey, McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey, um, a lot. I think he I think he still should be the Heisman front runner because I don't think quarterbacks I don't think running I don't think I I think quarterbacks get too much recognition. I guess uh, in the Heisman voting is what I mean. Arizona UCLA. Uh, UCLA, Arizona played okay against Washington. They played actually really good against Washington, but UCLA played good against Stanford, so it's kind of weird how those two are playing. But uh, I think uh, UCLA is going to pull that big three. Texas A&M, South Carolina, Texas A&M, easy one there. South Carolina's bad. Florida Vandy, Florida coming off a um, bad loss, not because it was a blowout, just because they blew a 21-point lead to Tennessee. Tennessee, Georgia much as it pains me to say it, Tennessee. Um, if you're a Tennessee fan, I live in Tennessee. All I hear is Tennessee. All I hear is SEC. But I don't dislike Tennessee. I just don't like the SEC. So if you're an SEC fan, sorry. Um, but I think Tennessee will win that game. I don't know if Nick Chubb's playing. I know he's questionable. Um, and Tennessee's, I think, starting to get it together. I don't think they'll be able to beat Bama. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to beat Texas A&M. I think those are the only two games they lose, though. So... Alcorn State, Arkansas. I'd actually... That game isn't bad. By the way, I forgot to circle a game for the Pac-12, and I'm just not realizing it. Fairly simple one here, though. Stanford, Washington. Um, yeah. Anyway, Kentucky, Alabama, uh, Alcorn State, Arkansas, Arkansas. Although I would say Alcorn State's look decent. I have watched one of their games because it was, like, the only game on on, like, a Thursday night or something. And, um... My door opened. Sorry, I had to talk to somebody. By somebody, I mean my family. But, Kentucky, Bama... Um, Bama, yeah. Memphis will miss. That is my circled game, believe it or not. You could circle. There's not too many good games in the SEC this week. You could circle Tennessee-Georgia, but I think Tennessee's going to win that game pretty handily. Um, Memphis. I swear, it seems like someone's robbing me, because I just realized how long I paused and listened. Um, no one's robbing me. Fine. Memphis will miss. Uh, circled game, because... Memphis, we don't know what they did last year. I think they still have the talent there. They lost Pax and Lynch, but they still have a lot of talent. And they lost their head coach, but they still have a lot of talent. Um, and Ole Miss, they can throw. They're a good football team. If by any chance they can make it to the SEC championship game and win, they have a chance. But, I mean, that means Bama has to lose twice. So I doubt that's going to happen. But, um, yeah, circled game. Watch out for that one. I think it'll be closer than most people expect. I still have Ole Miss winning, but closer than most people expect. And Missouri LSU. I have LSU. Even though they fired, that's Miles. Missouri's not a good football team. And I think LSU still has talent there. And it's just they need to find a coach that's going to be able to use the talent. So hope you guys enjoyed this first ever edition of College Football Predictions. All my predictions are written down in pen so that they cannot be changed. Uh, you also can go back in the video. I will count my records after each week. Play my record in the next video, and um, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment on who you think is going to win these games, and I will see you guys later.